Hello, in this video we'll be discussing what roles are and how you can add and assign them within Primavera P6. A role within P6 is a skill or job that can be assigned to a resource or activity to define what skills are needed to complete a task. Each role can be assigned a skill level to show how proficiently a resource can complete the task required with the options being inexperienced, proficient, skilled, expert, and master. Roles can also be organized in a hierarchical form to allow for easier assignments and management. In order to create a role within P6, we will first open up the project that we wish to add a role to and go up to Enterprise and click Roles. This will bring up the Roles dialog box where you can view, add, or edit any roles in the project. Since we are looking to create a new role, we will click Add. Now the new role will be added to the list and if you want to change the name then you can double click in the text box to edit them or you can go down to the general tab and edit it from there. For this example, I will change the name of the role to supervisor and I will change the role ID to SP. The responsibilities text box will allow you to add a detailed description of the responsibilities that the role may have. Under the resources tab, you can assign a list of resources to a role, including proficiency levels and designate whether or not the role is a resources primary role. For the sake of this example, I will assign the foreman to the supervisor role. In order to do this, I will click Add, and this will bring up a dialog box of all the different resources that I can choose from. Since we want to assign the foreman to the supervisor role, we will double click on foreman. Now that the foreman is assigned to the supervisor role, we can change the proficiency level of this foreman and choose what we want the foreman's primary role to be. In this case, we will choose that the primary role will be supervisor, and we can now go down to the prices tab where we can choose up to five different unit prices for each role. Uh, for this example, under the Rate tab column, I will use Price per Unit, and under the Price per Unit column, I will say that they are billed out at $50 per hour. This will now allow activities with the supervisor assigned to them to also have a price assigned to them. Now we can go over to the Limits tab. This tab is where the user can assign time periods to each role with different availabilities. The effective date is when these time limits will begin to be in place. Since this is an example project with all activities already in the past, I will make the effective date April 1st, 2020 so that I can affect the project at hand. The max units per time is the amount that they are allowed to work per unit of time. In this case, I will say that the supervisor role is unable to work more than 7 hours per day. Since the standard workday is 8 hours, this will cause the schedule to be pushed out. We now have the role finished, and we can go to the right side of the dialog box and click Close. I hope that you found this video helpful, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below and be sure to get them answered for you. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of the new videos that we put out here at ACM. Thank you for your time, and have a wonderful day. ACM is the first approved education provider as certified by AACE International and a Project Management Institute authorized training partner.